The set operation union. Union is the pretty much the combination of two pieces of data coming together. Um, these are all called sets. Okay, so set A is basically the numbers two, four, six, eight. There's four elements in that set. Those four numbers. B, one, three, five, seven includes those three. How I like to think of union is actually the sort of another word for marriage is union, bringing together two people. So what you actually can think of is if one partner owns something, the other partner owns something, they get married, they now own both things. Okay? If say they already had joined, had already owned a car together, they still both own that single car. There isn't that car that's owned twice. Okay? So basically it's just sort of a collection of everything that is in either side of this relationship. So A union B is basically everything that is in A and everything that's in B. So looking at this, A brings 2, 4, 6, and 8. B brings 1, 3, 5, and 7. So what we actually end up with is with every number 1 through 8. You would just write that out. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So the union of A and B is a set of all these numbers. Okay, let's look at one that actually has a little bit more overlap. A and C. Okay, so we're going from A, which is 2, 4, 6, and 8, and C, which is 3, 4, 5, and 6. Okay, what we have to be careful of here is 4 is in A and 4 is in C. That doesn't mean we have to write it twice. It's still just one element that's in both of them. So we just write out that number 4 once, same with the number 6. So A and C is going to be the number, start with 2. We then include 3 from C, 4 in both, 5 from C, 6 from C, and 8 from A. So the union of the two, the collection of the two, gives us this set of numbers. Okay. One other way you may see this in your class is by Venn diagrams. If you have A being a big circle, B being a big circle, the union of the two is actually everything. So if it's in A, if it's in B, if it's in both, the union is everything, uh, those two collections.